In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the Aroma Updater for your Wii U. Now, this is only for the Aroma environment, so if you're using Tiramisu, it doesn't work for you yet. But Aroma is in the beta stages, so uh, I think eventually Aroma will be the better custom firmware. So it's good to have on your SD card anyway. Now, the Aroma Updater can be used to update or install packages from Aroma for your cafe directly on your console. So you can update your custom firmware without taking the SD card out. Now it's very convenient, and this was all made by Michelle, who's the creator of Tiramisu and Aroma. So huge shout out to him. Uh, he's done a great job. And I highly suggest, you know, buying him a coffee and showing your support for him. I'll have that link below. Now, before I show you how to use the app, the best way to hear about Aroma updates is in the Aroma Discord, where you get notifications where Michelle um, sends a message, the Aroma Updater has just been released, or Beta 10 has been released. So it's the quickest way, or you can follow Michelle on Twitter, which I will link as well. You can, uh, I have his notification set on, so I know exactly when the updates come out. Just like this, I found out the screenshot plugin has been released, so uh, expect a video on that. But anyways, let's get the Aroma Updater set up on our Wii U and let's begin so go to the link in the description that says aroma updater it'll take you to this github page where you can read about it you can see um, how to set it up yourself but i'm going to walk you through it right here if you'd rather follow me but basically scroll up to the top of the screen and on this uh the right side you'll see releases click on aroma updater the, the latest version it should take you here scroll down and uh, just click on aroma updater uh, right now it's zero two one now this is a zip file so you'll need something to extract it. I use WinRAR, it's free. But once you've downloaded it, just open up your SD card and uh, let's get it set up. So here's what my SD card looks like. Uh, yours might look different, but just open up that zip file for the Aroma Updater. And you'll see if you hover, it is a .wub file. That means it works for Aroma, obviously it's meant for it. But to add it to your Wii U on your SD card, go into your Wii U folder. Go into apps and just drag the aroma updater into that folder now for aroma um, in order to, for apps to work it needs to be a dot web or a dot rpx file so that's if you know the app is for aroma or not once it's in your wii u apps folder um, you can eject your sd card from your computer and head over onto the wii u and once you're onto your wii u make sure you're running your aroma custom firmware now for this one, the homebrew launcher, if you did not know, is integrated into the Wii U menu. As you can see, my apps are showing up here. Nusply, it's a .rpx file, and App Store, another .rpx. But here's the Aroma Updater, so just find it and click A and start it up. Now I was worried that you might need a Nintendo Network ID for this, but you are still able to run the app without one, as you can see. So. We're here on the Aroma Updater, so I'm going to switch to the gamepad as my controller, just press A to check for updates. And you will need internet connection for this. And here we go, uh, our environment loader, it has an update, and our base Aroma also has an update, but our NAN dumper and uh, FW image loader, up to date. So it automatically checks the software you need to update, and then all you do is press plus, and it should automatically update. And it's also updating blue pair. Just press A to confirm, and there we go, it's begun. And it's going pretty quick, actually. So this saves you from taking your SD card out, plugging it into your computer, and dragging the updated files on instead. So now you can do it all on your Wii U, so it's very convenient. When it's done, it says your console will now restart. So my console restarted, and I'm just going to go back into the Aroma Updater just to make sure that uh, everything is up to date. Again, getting this air code, uh, just press OK, and it should still run the, wrap, the app. So it's Scott from the future, and I figured out that the reason I was getting the air code was because of the Pretendo file I have on there. So if you don't have Pretendo, you shouldn't get that air code. And there we go, as you can see, everything is now up to date. But anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you were successfully able to set up your Aroma Updater. Um, it's a very convenient app, thanks to Michelle, and more plugins and apps are being created as we speak. He's putting a lot of work into this. But anyways, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you're interested, you can join my Discord, link below. 
If you're interested in more Wii U tutorials, uh, subscribe and keep an eye out for those. But anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Peace.